On this installment of Georgia Grown's Pick, Cook, and Keep, we'll explore some fields of green as we look at a crop that has variety and can be grown in fall and winter seasons. We're talking about greens. Vegetables in the greens category, like kale and collard greens, have been farmed worldwide for over 2,000 years. And it's a great crop for Georgia because it can be grown statewide as it follows the sun and favorable temperatures. Let's head to the kitchen and go green. Hi, I'm Chef Hillary. I'm the chef owner of the Hill Restaurant, located in the community of Serenby, just south of the city of Atlanta. Today we're gonna to demonstrate how to cook greens. These greens, which are different types of kale and collards, were grown for us by the farmers at Serenby Farm. They're super nutritious and quite tasty. To start, remove the leaves from the stems. Once the greens have been stripped from the stems, we're going to simply put them into a large pot of boiling salted water. We're gonna place the greens inside the pot of water. Once the greens have cooked for two or three minutes, we're gonna simply remove them from the pot. And then you can set them aside and allow to cool. We're gonna finish them with a small amount of butter. Some shallots. A little bit of water. We've removed the excess moisture out of the greens, chopped them up. Add them into the shallots and the butter. Of course, you can use olive oil. We're gonna season them yet with a little bit of kosher salt. Cracked black pepper. If you'd like to add your own seasonings, this is a great time to do it. And you simply wanna cook these out just until they're cooked through, they're heated through. The shallots add a nice flavor. Of course, you can substitute scallions or even a minced onion if you'd like. Serenby Farm, cooking greens. To freeze some of those fresh greens for later is easy. Select young, tender greens. Water blanch collards for three minutes and all other greens for two minutes. Let the greens drain, cool, and package in freezer bags, leaving an inch of headspace in the bag. Then simply seal the bags and freeze for that next time you have a taste for something green and Georgia grown. 